Damn! <laughs> Alright, my custom lift board I've been working on. Finally, the batteries came in from China. This is 36,000 ma, I want to say. It's a 3SP pack, so it's a bunch of 18650s in here all tied together. And then <clears throat> has came with a quick charge point, and then I ordered a uh, 36 to 42 volt uh, controller box module from China and then drill the hole and install the power switch on the other side of the board so my battery monitors here I also have a board battery monitor here so I have two battery monitors not that this one was necessary but I think this one also reads load efficiency and this one does not so big difference this is only designed for a 600 watt motor output and this is a 900 watt so unfortunately it only allows me to go up to setting number two I can't do three or four for speed um, but I should get pretty far on this one board so turn it on remember this is all this was forty six dollars for electric uh, Chinese uh, components to make this work so it did its battery search it says hey you got a full battery it shows here as the board has a full battery if you give her the beans she rips breaks 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 so I need to get in here and figure out how to adjust the brake settings because right now they suck. And I'm not quite sure how to activate reverse yet. Maybe that's it. No. Maybe I have to hold it to activate reverse. There's reverse, I think. Yep. Then if I hold it again, it probably will switch it back to drive. There it is. Alright, so I figured this out pretty quick. So... You can hear the brake brake activating. So very cool. I mean, I would love to be able to use the higher functions, but when I ordered this, I wasn't thinking about the wattage on the motor. So because it's a brushless 900 watt, this is only going to supply me 600 watts of power. So anytime I try to breach that on a 900 watt motor, it just like kills the controller box and resets it. I'll show you what happens if I bring it up to power mode four. So there, it's on two right now. You can see there's three, there's four. Watch what happens when I give her full beans with four. So this would be taking all the power the board can handle. See how it's resetting the ESC? It's too much power draw. If I bring it back to three, it kind of works for a little while. And if I bring it back to two, it works fine. So I think, really, I'm regulating this at two. <laughs> That's... That's where we're at here. We're just going to have to leave it at power setting 2. So it won't be the fastest board in the world, but I should be getting around like 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour for a long ways. So you can build your own skateboards for super cheap. Like it barely costs anything to build this. Let's turn that off, turn that off. And then this will be the throw in the car board in case anybody wants to ride with us. It's kind of what I built it for, just for fun. <laughs> just wanted to say I built an electric skateboard myself. So that's what I did. There you go. Ha. Alrighty guys, shout outs to Original Dobo. Uh, I've been waiting for a lot of parts to come in, but he 3D printed this for me. I'll put a, uh, a link to his YouTube channel uh, because he was super cool and printed this so I can put this over the electronics. So I just mounted the battery with um, very locking Velcro, so this could take the entire weight of the board with no issues and it won't fall off while you're riding. And there's your uh, 36,000 mAh, so this is the battery I chose, came from China, 36 volt 10S 3P, pretty, pretty potent little battery, should get some pretty good range out of this thing. Um, and then I just had to solder on my own XT60 connector, but... We're going to disconnect the battery uh, stuff for now because I have to make some slight alterations. We need to move this up here further, um, just a little bit, enough that I can get the case underneath it. So we're going to have to rearrange some stuff, so hopefully you guys enjoy watching this. We're going to tidy up the electronics before we take this out and do my thing for the day. So let's, uh, let's loosen some stuff up and get started.
And there you guys go, tidied up. <clears throat> Shoutouts to Ken, like I said, for that beautiful cover he made. A little bit of work to get everything going, and I wasn't able to put my undercarriage battery meter, but like I said, I'm not really worried about it because I've got the battery meter on here, so it is reporting voltage, so lets me know where I stand with the battery. Um, I think this was kind of a nice secondary thought, but it only really measures load, so I'm not stressing that so much because um, I got my battery meter on here. So other than that, everything came out fine. I'm just going to um, get a little piece of tape tape this into place where I want it probably about just like that and uh, or maybe down maybe I'll run it down I don't know I still haven't figured that out yet where I want to do this because this is physically attached to the battery so I didn't want to run it inside the case suppose I could have but I didn't want to um, I wanted to have access to it in case I decided to unplug the battery for whatever reason and just switch it out so that locking velcro has this thing doing very well and uh, Shout out to Ken for that because that came in definite handy. So, looks good. Hopefully, it'll keep some of the water out, contaminants, anything we can get on the electronics. And um, yeah, the home built DIY skateboard is looking good. It's just looking good. I like it. I like it. So, you just turn her on, turn on the power, wait for it to register, full charge, give her the beans. <laughs> brakes <laughs> sweet my home built Chinese board is ready to roll so we're probably cruising at about maybe eight seven or eight miles an hour battery meters working good this is just a cruising board. That's all this is. It's a nice little slow cruiser, long range cruising board. It's not meant to go super fast. Go into the turn here, we'll ride the sidewalk down. It seems to be working fine. Got a car coming. I Wish they would kind of hurry up a little bit. Come on, car. Thank you. And we can let this guy have the whole sidewalk to himself. So there you go. That's that's the speed of this board. It's not crazy fast. It's just a nice cruising board. But I am having fun just out here just cruising on it. It's not the fastest board in the world, but it is great for long distance cruising. It carves really well. Great little parking lot cruiser for sure. There we go. So. I would say overall for the cheap electronics I put on it and stuff, it actually is doing very well. As you can see, the battery still has three bars. I've only taken off the top end of the bar. So, yeah, you can build your own uh, electric skateboards for pretty cheap. Battery's not hot. Connector's not hot. Motor wires aren't hot. Motor's got a little warmth in it. That's about it. So... If you got a better control box, that 900 watt motor would perform much better. Those cheap, uh, you know, this is, I think the electronics are like $36. That's all it cost me to do this. But, you know, I just wanted to have some fun, see if I could build one. And I absolutely can. I'm a 220 pound dude riding around a little tiny uh, electronic skateboard. So, but I do like this one because this is a handle. My, my really good skateboard does not have a handle. So, I probably just roughly put about a mile on the board. And uh, it did just fine. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, this will be uh, like a drone retrieval board. I'll just leave this in my truck, and if we do any parking lot stuff, I'll pop this out if somebody drops a drone and they or they want to scout the parking lot and see what's going on. This is perfect for that. So, yep, 
there you go, peeps. I'm going to look for a little better electronics, something that can handle more of a power efficiency, and uh, might just replace these ones because I've already got the battery. It's fully capable of handling more power. So there you go. Boom. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right.